Hey, Sterile Processing Universe, it's Hank Balch here with another episode of Fighting Dirty. And today, I'm going to talk about convincing your manager to schedule a monthly workday, document workday, to get things done in your department. Now, if you're a supervisor, lead tech, manager, director, you know the struggle. How do you ever have time to actually sit down at your desk with other leaders and work through policy updates, competency updates, new signage for the department, all kinds of projects that need to be written down, explained, education opportunities for new technicians, new shift reports, anything that has to be drafted, you don't have time to do it in the normal nine to five working flow of a crazy department. The minute you clock in, the fires start burning and they don't stop until you leave. So if you're a leader, when do you have time to get these things done? I think a great idea, and this is one that I have done in multiple departments that I've managed and directed, is scheduled a monthly document work day with your department leaders. And I've told my bosses all the way up to the CEO, I'm scheduling one day a month outside of the department for for the manager and the supervisor or lead tech to come outside of the department and work on these documents that are so critical to the future success of our departments. Now, that doesn't mean that you can pull all the leaders out every month to work on these documents. You have to be selective so that you don't leave the whole department leaderless for one day a month. However, It is critical to have time to think together as a leadership team around these documents and really dig into them for hours on end and say, how do we need to change these policies? What are we hearing from the staff? What is the feedback that we've gotten from the huddles? How are things working? And how can we integrate that frontline feedback into policies and competency updates that are going to fit the reality of our departments? So many times we see during our on-site consultations, outdated policies, incomplete competencies. It's just a whole disaster. And when we talk to the leaders and we say, hey, you know, why are these things three years old? Or why do you have a new policy for a new piece of equipment here, but you still have the old policy in place for a piece of equipment that you don't have anymore? Well, the answer is always, we didn't have time to update it. I've been too busy putting out fires and trying to keep the surgeries going. I just don't have time to do this. Well, if you schedule a monthly document work day, you will have a set apart time in your schedule that you know you can leave the department in good, competent hands, then go work on the documentation and the work product that you need, again, to take your department into compliance and into the future in a way that has complete documentation drafted with leaders around a table who have time to actually think. I promise you guys, if you start doing this monthly workday, you will see the results. Your staff will see the results. And just as importantly, if not more so, the patients and your customers in the operating room will also see that you have gotten more time to get your ducks in a row Get your I's dotted and your T's crossed and have your documentation up to date so that when the surveyors come and they start digging through your files, you can be proud about what they find. That's all I got for today, folks. I encourage you to keep fighting dirty. Thank you again for watching this episode of Fighting Dirty, and I'll see you again next time.